It has been, as you know, a crazy couple of days on Wall Street with big declines, then big reversals. It's had an impact on people's retirement accounts, college saving plans, and their psyche. At the closing bell today, the Dow was up 567 points. That after a big sell-off at the opening bell that had a lot of people worried. A look at the chart of the S&P 500 over the past few days shows the kind of plunge that makes people nervous, especially when it's been so long since we've seen these kinds of wild swings. It's actually kind of an ugly picture. But a long-term chart gives a much different perspective. This is a look at the S&P 500 over the past five years it has nearly doubled. In fact, the current bull market in stocks is one of the longest on record. So the question is, what does all of this mean for the average investor? To get some answers for you, we've invited principal and portfolio manager Jim Russell with Ball & Gainer. The firm manages money for individuals and institutions, and we certainly want to thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, there is a freak out factor when you see the numbers plunge. Uh, is that understandable? It's absolutely understandable. We're all human beings and we think that you know, there's an emotional attachment uh, with money that's a pretty intimate you know, type of relationship for well, many people. you think people. about your future. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the key here is to keep your eye on the prize. And that is for many individuals, retirement, savings for a home, saving for retirement, it's a long-term process. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Okay. So we would urge people strongly never to get distracted by one, two, three days of volatility in the market or frankly any other factor that you know, takes your eye off the ball. I've heard people talking about this and the big question is why? Why is this happening now, Jim? It's a great question. Mm -hmm. What happened is that from January 1st of 2017 through January 31st of 18, so 13 months, the market was up 27%, perhaps a little bit too strong too soon market perhaps was over its ski tips just a little bit. Therefore, the market was really, really priced for perfection. Any little thing could dislodge that. And we got that on Friday morning of mm -hmm. last week. We got a hot employment number, meaning that when the, the economy is operating at a very high rate and a lot of people are employed and raises, and that is wages start to go up, a little bit of inflation starts to creep into the system and interest rates start to move up. That was enough to tip over the apple cart just a little bit. We saw that Friday, we saw it yesterday, we saw a nice rebound today. So we do think that people should be uh, tuned in to perhaps a little bit higher inflation rate, a, normal, mm -hmm. a normalization process, slightly higher interest rates as well, and of course a little bit more volatility in the markets as we move forward. I have two more questions in about 45 seconds. This is a little reminiscent if you lived through 2008 and had money in 401ks and saw that money disappear, you're a little nervous. Is this like 2008? It's a very great question. It's relevant and I'm sure it's on a lot of people's minds. We see very little correlation between current events in 2008. Mm -hmm. 2008, the market began to roll over because macro or economic conditions began to soften. We don't see that. In fact, the market responded to an economy that's actually ramping higher and getting stronger by the day. Consumers are in great shape. Companies are in great shape. And we think that continues throughout 2018. So we don't see that as a factor this time. If you had a sentence of advice for our viewers, what would that sentence be? Always remain calm. Again, uh, the money decision and savings for big projects are a objective, keep your eye on the ball kind of decision. Please don't view that through an emotional lens. Hard to do, easy to say, harder to execute. I think that's the key. All right, Jim Russell, thank you for being here and offering that perspective. Thank you. Really appreciate it.